writing this kind of a quadratic equation as this one and then solving it is called the completing the square method. But the question is how? How can we write this in this form? Before we begin with this lesson, you need to know two identities really well. First, a plus b the whole squared equals a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And second, a minus b the whole squared equals a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. In both cases, we have 2 times a times b as the middle term. 2 times a times b. The only difference is the sign of the middle term. Here it's positive and here it's negative. Once you're sure about these two identities, you will find completing the square method really simple. Here's your first quadratic equation which needs to be solved using completing the square method. The first step should be to just look at the variable part which is x squared plus 6x. Now we write this term in the form 2ab. Here a is x and we don't know what b is. We can write it as x squared plus 2 times x times 3 minus 16 equals 0. Now that we've written it in the 2ab form, we know what b is. It's 3. So to form a perfect square, we can add 3 squared to this. But we can't just change the equation, right? To keep the original equation balanced, we subtract 3 squared too. Now if we look at the first 3 terms, we get a perfect square. It can be written as x plus 3 the whole squared. And as 3 squared is 9, we can simplify this to get this equation. And now I think you know how to proceed. We transpose 25 to the other side to get this. And this tells us that x plus 3 will equal either 5 or negative 5. We get the value of x as 2 or negative 8. So the important part here is to know which term to add. Here we added 3 squared. And to keep the equation balanced, we also subtracted 3 squared. This was the completing the square method. Now let's try another example here on the right. We need to find the roots of this quadratic equation using completing the square method. Why don't you give it a try? Ok, so the first step is to look at the variable part. Next, we write this in the form 2ab. We can write it as x squared minus 2 times x times 2 minus 12 equals 0. And now we know that b is 2. So we add 2 squared and then also subtract 2 squared to get the equation unchanged. Now look at the first 3 terms. Do we get a perfect square? Yes, we do. This part can be written as x minus 2 the whole squared. And negative 4 minus 12 will be negative 16. And you should get the roots as 6 and negative 2. Hope you understood the concept of completing the square and why and how it helps us find the solution of a quadratic equation. Here's one example for you to try. Give it a try 